hello in this tutorial I'll show you how to do group scheduling in Calendly so the first thing I'd like you to do is to go ahead and open your Calendly account all right it's not it so we'll just go ahead and open okay so ensure that you open your Calendly account so this is it if you are new to Calendly or if you do not have an account, ensure you go to um, the Google search panel, all right, and enter Calendly.com. It will take you right to the um, official website for Calendly. And from there, you'll see on-screen instructions for you to follow, to register, and to create an account. So it is much easier if you um, register using Google. That's if you have a Google account. So once you um, register and you create an account, it's going to take you to this page, which is um, your home page. So right here, we want to learn how to um, do group scheduling right here on this fantastic um, meeting scheduling app uh, website rather. Okay, so right there at the top right corner of your screen um, um, or at the right corner of your screen, let's see. You see create uh, you see new event type so whichever route you want to take it is still allowed so let's just go to create all right because we want to create something new and you'll see like a drop down menu event type and of meeting meeting post so just go ahead and click event type so right here create new event type and we have quite a lot of options one-on-one -on -one, um do you want to create a one-on-one -on -one meeting you know this is one host one invitee good for coffee chats all right one-on-one -on -one interviews and we have group one host with group of invitees we have collective and we have round dropping okay so it's more than one host and with one invitee uh this is one host with group of invitees so this is what um we're going to do all right because we want to do group scheduling okay so just click on this group all right So here you go add group event type so what kind of event is this so you have to create um the event name let's say um, it is um um let's go with board meeting like you just want to have like a board meeting um add location whether you want to meet you know whether you want to meet let's say um google meet all right so description slash instruction so um prepare prepare for an hour long session <laughs> Just don't like it. You can definitely add any description or instruction that you have. Um, and then so max invitees in sport. Um, let's say we're um, expecting like seven board members. Display remaining spots on booking page and event color. Um, let's say magenta. And so the next thing you go ahead and you create next. It's nest rather. Okay, so here it says saved all right so it's safe so here you say um when can people book this event all right so dates range if i just can schedule um within the 60 days or calling the sense of children they change indefinitely into the future or you know duration how many minutes do you you can also set that up it's going to take 60 minutes okay so how do you want to refer your availability for this type Use an existing shadow, all right. Um, set custom hours, whatever you want to do. Sh okay, so sh which shadow do you want to use? Um, working hours. I had already, I've already set my working hours. So these are like my working hours and working hours. So Sundays are available. Okay, so here you say um what want to add time before or after your event. So you can just click okay before event or after the event, whichever one you choose. All right, so that's it and go ahead and click next all right so here so here you go so 
what event is this? When Capital was okay. So additional questions number of activities. So, all right. So this is your booking page is ready to accept event. So you can go ahead and share your link or add um, additional um, options below. So here, just add additional options and that's it. So that's it. Your meeting has your group meeting has been um, saved. All right. It's ready. So you can. Do whatever you can go ahead like i said you can go ahead and add additional options if you want to invite the questions or whatever you may want to choose but but whichever ways it has been so, so you can go ahead and hit the share you share or you copy link all right so this is it your group meeting has been created so this is pretty much how to create um um a group event or let's say a group scheduling how to do group scheduling and currently i hope this video helped your search